Let's jump over to the upcoming games for just a moment. We've got 26 minutes and change remaining. This is a three-game set, so things aren't going to be shuffling around too much. Princess Ruby asks in chat of how I'm doing, and I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Rowan Wordsmith asks whether or not I saw the quad shame. I saw it being shouted out in the Discord, but I was not watching, unfortunately. And we've got Ron of the Mill talking about betting on the garages. Lavender Paws following now. Thank you for the follow, baseball fan. So... Let's take a moment for our new baseball followers and listeners and talk about the game writ large, because one of the things I see the most often on Twitter is, I don't know what baseball is, and frankly at this point, I'm too scared to ask. Never feel afraid to ask questions, that's how you grow and learn, but let's talk about the game real quick. There are 20 teams currently broken up into a number of leagues, and you have fictitious coins up at the very top of the screen that you can place bets wherever you like on whatever team you want. And depending on percentages and chances of winning, you can earn back more coins than what you bet. Now, what can you do with coins besides just gamble with them? There is this wonderful little button up here called the shop. When you click on it, you have to purchase a member's card in order to gain access to the shop. But once you've done so, there are a number of options that you can spend your hard gambled for coins on. One of the first of which is buying the right to vote. Speaking of which, I'm going to snag a vote right now. Not going to spend it on the air, though. So, voting we'll talk about in just one moment, but there are other options for your coins. I am not official, I am not affiliated with the Blaseball Commission, however, the Blaseball Commission is sponsored by Yes Please Coffee. You can click on that button there to get a discount in order to help support the Blaseball servers. And if you have a moment, hop on Twitter, please tell the Blaseball Commissioner that they're doing a great job. Anyway, continuing down the list here, we have the High Roller Snake Oil that you can purchase for 20 coins, and I'm pretty sure that goes up as you buy more of them, allowing you to bet even more astronomical sums for your favorite or most probable to win teams. Beneath that, we have Passive Income Potion that I've invested a fair number of coins in. Every time your home team, your favorite team wins, you get coins. You can continue to invest in that, so your earnings continue to grow. If you run out of coins, fret not baseball, baseball fans, sorry, that was a strange word that just came out of my mouth. Baseball fans, do not fret. There are no macro transactions. There are no micro transactions. There are no pico transactions. The baseball gods are beneficent in how much coin they are willing to continue to give you. You just simply need to click the beg button and you will be given free coins to continue gambling to your heart's content. And last but not least, there is an item at the very bottom of the list that costs 2,000 coins. It's called the Fairweather Flute, in case you want to jump teams. Now, I can understand if maybe early on in baseball you just grabbed a team and you thought, ah, oh, they'll be fine, and then after a little while you went, you know, I'd rather be cheering for blank or blank or other blank. This is the easiest way for you to swap that up, or you could just create another account. That's cool, too. Let's scroll back up. We talked about voting. Let's take a quick look to see how much time we have left. We still have 23 minutes, plenty of time. Let's jump over to the election tab and talk about voting. We have 46 hours, 22 minutes, and 50-some seconds remaining. All you have to do is purchase a vote. After you've purchased a vote, you may click on either a decree or a blessing, hit the submit button, and your vote will be counted towards the next season, which will beginning, be beginning on Monday. We have 46 hours remaining, so the next two days of baseball will be the off-season. I've mentioned this previously on Twitter, but I will not be covering the off-season. Just as a heads up. So, anyway, back to voting. Decrees, there are five of them, and two of them will take effect at the beginning of the next season. Let's run through them real quick for our new listeners. Relegation is one of our decrees here. The last place team in the league will be eliminated from the league and replaced with a new team. What happens to the players? 
We don't know. Popular evolution is another decree that is available. The team with the most fans will evolve. We don't know what that means. I presume the commissioners and umpires do, but us, us fans don't. Peanuts is another decree that is available and has a remarkably succinct description. Peanuts. Uh, the fourth strike is another decree that is available. The bottom four teams in the league gained the fourth strike. It will take four strikes to strike out any batter on their team for the following season and postseason. And then there is a rule change regarding shame. Fans in the Discord go berserk when a shame is called and... It will have an effect if this decree wins. Enhanced shame means when a team is shamed, they will be punished in the following game. Their next opponent will start with runs equal to the number of runs scored in the shame period. Devastating. Let's scroll down to the blessings. These will be targeted specifically to your favorite team when you bet on them. We have performance enhancing demons that add a plus 8% to team overall. We have Yes Please, another nod to the sponsors of Blaseball. Wake up your hitters with a cup of Yes Please coffee plus 10% team hitting. We have Pseudo Thumbs, which will burst from the skin on the opposite of your pitcher's hands plus 10% team pitching. Wind sprints will give an increase to the base running stat of your team of plus 15%. The rack has an onomatopoeic like description of cracking a uh, cartilage and bone snapping. It's a plus 15 to team defense boost though. Seduction will swipe a hitter from the the best hitter from the league to your team. Defection will do the same for pitching. Bloodlust maxes out the stats of a random player on your team. The gunblade bat, a legendary implement rumored to be able to kill gods, will make a random hitter on your team. Stat, their bat stat, batting stats will be maxed out. A literal arm cannon can be installed on your players through these blessings. I have an ink, just a guess that Polka Dot Patterson might have one of these already. Soul Swap, they won't stop screaming. Randomize your team's five worst players. As a brief shout out and actually spending one of my biases, Waypoint Radio is the reason why I'm doing this. They talked briefly about this as an idea, and I jumped on it. Austin Walker from Waypoint Radio has been cheering for the Millennials and has been hoping that Soul Swap will be triggered for the Millennials to maybe shake things up for them. Here's hoping you get what you want, and it isn't terrible. Let's talk about blood sacrifices. Since we're talking about terribleness, your team sacrifices a fan from the stands, or maybe they're just into it. The gods show favor. Your team will win all tiebreakers, which seems very powerful. A small dragon in chat also says I should be shouting out Gita, and I definitely should. Shoutouts to Gita. Shoutouts to Rob and Kato as well. And also Patrick. I'm presuming Patrick's probably going to be into this, at least cursorily. Let's jump back to see what we've got left. We've got 18 minutes and change remaining. And a brief moment here. Thank you, listeners, for tuning in to Baseball Radio. As I've mentioned a few times during the stream, I am not official. I am not affiliated with the Baseball Commission. I'm just a fan like all the rest of you. Princess Ruby recommends that I take a break, and I'm going to momentarily here, but I do want to just make a couple of quick announcements. So, Baseball, as the commission has said before, is for everyone. I'm super grateful that everyone has been super kind and a great community in chat. I also want to take a moment to shout out the fan artists in the baseball community. There have been some absolutely incredible pieces of artwork kicking around on Twitter if you search for baseball. I'm hoping at some point during one of the streams I can set up a slideshow and be able to present some fan art that's submitted by fans, but that's not set just yet. Eric Hargrove 90 following, thank you for the follow. Gone Sirius just followed. Happy Earmuffs just followed. Her Silicon Soul Meta Metonym uh, followed. Pardon me if I butcher any of these names. Chandre 3000 also followed. Chimera Jerky, Lavender Paws, Ron of the Mill, X Darling Damsel X, Cameron A Workman, 
Thank you all for your follows. There are so many more followers following right now. I'm so, so pleased with all of your attendance at this this incredibly fun little thing we're doing here. To pop my broadcaster's hat off for a second and set it aside, thank you all so very much for tuning in. This has been all so, just so much fun. It's just been great. So thank you all so very much out there in Radio Land. Let's get that announcer's hat back on. For those just tuning in, I'm your radio host, Radio Host, and this is Baseball Radio. We are unofficial, as I've mentioned before. I'm just a fan like all the rest of you out there on the internet. If you have a few moments, please pop onto Twitter. Tell the commissioner they're doing a great job. If you have the funds and are okay to do so, consider looking into maybe kicking a few bucks to the Baseball Commission. If you can't, everyone understands it's a tough time out there. We've got 15 minutes and change remaining until the next game. I'm going to go take a quick break and drink some coffee. Coffee's great stuff, but it's not Baseball. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll be back shortly. Hello, folks. We're just jumping back in. We've got a little bit under 10 minutes remaining until game two. Friendly Truffle asks in chat, does the baseball radio person have a title? Yes, I do. I'm your radio host, Radio Host. Princess Ruby ask, uh, mentioning that the waiting screens are great. Thank you so very much. I kitbash them out of something on Canva. I do have the credits for a couple of things down in the description of our stream. Some of our sound effects come from zapsplat.com, and our title cards were made using Canva. To take my radio host hat off for just a second, I am an English major and a library sciences major, and properly crediting sources is, like, super, 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 super crucial. So that's why I do that. The other thing that I also want to make perfectly clear is that I want to keep this stream a safe place for everybody, and that's why I'm going to be referring to fans as friends of all shapes, sizes, colors, and chemical compositions. Everyone is valid. All human beings deserve human rights. No, that's not political, and if you believe so, please find a different stream. Thank you. Let's get the radio announcer's hat back on. I'm your radio host, Radio Host, and we're just shy of eight minutes away from game two of the last three games of season two of baseball. Big boy, big following now. Thank you. Same with Electro Deck, Banjo Den, and Gone Serious. I think I may have called you out earlier, but if I didn't, now I have. Pardon me, I'm probably going to butcher this. Jerome Comeo, if I got that right, please let me know. And if I didn't, I'd love to be corrected. 104 joining us as well as a follower. Thank you so much. So, let's do something here very brief and very near and dear to my heart. A good friend of mine in real life's birthday is today, and I wish to call them out. This is my other point of bias being spent. I'm only allowed two points of bias per human broadcast day. And it, it still affects on Twitter, I've found out. Thank you, Announcers Commission. Not associated with the Baseball Commission, but back to my happy birthday call-out. This is to my friend Draco Kitty. You can find their art on Twitter. They do adorable little weird shadow cat monsters and other interesting, goofy pieces of art. They are a near and dear friend. Thank you, and happy birthday, Draco Kitty. We're six minutes and change away from day two, day 98, of 99 days in season two of Baseball. Fans, thanks for coming out and listening. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for Waypoint putting this goofy idea into my brain and not letting go of my cerebral cortex. 
pardon me while I take a quick sip of water, hydration is important. It's not baseball, but it's still pretty good. Jerome Cameo calling out in chat, Waypoint, five-star podcast, five-star runtime. Yes, yes, indeed. I recently stole that and applied it to another podcast, but I've already used my two points of bias. I cannot talk about any of the other things that aren't baseball for the rest of the broadcast day. We don't want to get too off the rails. It's baseball that needs to be jumping off the rails, not your radio host, radio host. If you're on Twitter, take the time, join the Twitter feeds of your favorite sports sports teams, take a moment, thank the commissioner, and tell them they're doing a great job. Princess Ruby says, I'm hungry, yet I'm a fan of the Dallas Steaks. I need a steak. Let's hope the Steaks can bring some wins as well. Let's take a quick jump to check something here real quick on my other feeds. Jump over to Twitter here real quick. The Chicago Firefighters official, official account just followed me. Thank you, Firefighters. I've already burned my biases, so I can't speak to that right now. Uh... Hellmouth Sunbeams just tweeted, Found an obelisk near the microbrew stand, but it melted before I could show anyone. Here's hoping it didn't get into the water supply. Let's... Take a quick run. Oh, hold on one second. Baseball commissioner just posted a couple of things. Clarification from the front office as stipulated in the Forbidden Book. Book's rules regarding tiebreakers. The Magic have been eliminated from the postseason contention. Interesting. All right. With all that said, let's jump back. We've got three minutes and change remaining until the next day. Let's take a look at the previous scores real quick. At the top of the league, Shoe Thieves hosted the Firefighters and swiped their boots. Shoe Thieves 8, Firefighters 3. Sunbeams in Hellmouth hosted the Hades Tigers and blinded them. Sunbeams 8, Tigers 6. Spies hosted the Moist Talkers, and the Moist Talkers managed to keep their game running. They beat the Spies with just one run. Wild Wings hosted the Garages and stole the battery from the remote control. Wild Wings, win Wild Wings winning 10 to Garages 4. Magic hosted the Tacos, and the Tacos clearly stated... We don't believe in your silly Hocus Pocus. Tacos 10, Magic 3. Steaks hosted the Lovers. Steaks brought the points and the beef and won it. Steaks 2, Lovers 0. Flowers hosted the Fridays. Flowers 4, Fridays 0. Fridays were already working for the weekend and didn't show up, it seems. Jazz Hands hosted the Dale. Jazz Hands 10, Dale 5. Breath Mints hosted the Millennials, and the Millennials took it 7 to the Breath Mints 6. And the Crabs hosted the Pies. Pies kept it flaky and fresh. Pies 5, Crabs 0. We're just a little bit away from the next day's games, just under two minutes away. I'm your radio host, radio host. This is Blaseball, and we're just about to get day 98 of season two of Blaseball rolling. All right there, sports fans. Let's take a look at the Panopticon. We've got a minute and 20-some seconds remaining. The umpires have manifested in various places around the sports stadiums and are rapidly running to the alternate storage containment device to put the lead line box that holds the last remaining pages of the Forbidden Book that have not been exposed to human retinas. They have successfully dunked the container into the other containment hold. We are safe from the malicious radiation there contained within those pages. We don't know whether they're consecrating the ground, unhallowing it, or something else, but they do it every game, so there must be a reason. Exactly one note of the National Anthem has been played and promptly silenced because it's time for sports. We're about 30 seconds away. 
The teams are ready. They're warming up. We should be playing ball here any moment. And a quick clarification in the chat. Some folks were talking about what a siesta means for the servers. It means when they're upgrading systems and shutting things down for a brief little bit. It's the reason why games were delayed just a little bit today. We're just about to kick off here. Let me grab my Panopticon lens. Three seconds, two, one, and we're off to the races, folks. Let's play sports. Let's play ball. A quick jump through the league. Everyone's just getting ready. Fridays are pitching right now against the Flouter Flowers. Jacob Winner pitching. Garage is pitching with Arturo Huerta. Uh, whoop, Summers Preston just hit a single for the Wild Wings. Tacos are pitching first against the Magic. Lee Davenport pitching. Pies pitching against the Crabs. Right now, Nicholas Mora pitching. Francisco Sasquatch pitching for the Dale. We have Jenkins Good pitching for the Moist Talkers. Finn Doyle pitching for the Millennials. Parker Meng pitching for the Lovers. Hiroto Wilcox pitching for the Tigers. And fan favorite Atlas Guerrera pitching for the Firefighters right now. Shoe Thieves have someone on first and third. Ren, or first and second, sorry. Ren Hunter just drew a walk. Let's keep an eye on the Shoe Thieves here. Uh, Jazz Hands and Dale have some folks on plates as well. We'll jump around here as we can. And Velasquez Alstott hits a fly out to Declan Suzanne. One out for the Shoe Thieves. Still someone on first and second. Antonio Wallace batting for the Shoe Thieves. And there's a ball. Quick skip through the league while that's developing. Spies have managed to put a point on the board against the Moist Talkers. The Jazz Hands have managed to put a point against the Dale. And the Jazz Hands have someone on first and third. Alden Cash Money batting right now. Two strikes. And a ball. Another foul for Cash Money. Ball two. Cash Money reaches first on fielder's choice. Hendricks Richardson out at second. Comfort September scores. Jazz hands two. Dale zero. Let's take another quick skip through the league. Wild Wings have got a point on the board versus the Garages right now. Fridays and Flowers, Magic and Tacos, Crabs and Pies are all still deadlocked. Double zero. Jazz Hands 2-0 versus Dale. Spies 1-0 versus Moist Talkers. Breath Mints are keeping it fresh against the Millennials today. Breath Mints 2, Millennials 0. Stakes and Lovers, Lovers bringing it to the field. Lovers 2, Stakes 0. Sunbeams and Tigers are still locked. Double O and Shoe Thieves have a point on the board against the Firefighters. But Firefighters are up to bat right now. Paula Mason batting for the Firefighters, Beasley Gloom, pitching for the Shoe Thieves. Ball one. We have a fair bit of action going down lower in the league. We're going to skip down there real quick. Jazz, Hands, and Dale had some people on bases, but just... They just vanished right now. Let's take another quick further skip down the league. Garages have managed to find the remote, click it open, and get onto the field to get some points on the board. Garages to Wild Wings 1, bottom of the first. Garage is batting now. Magic and Tacos still double zero. Same with Crabs and Pies. As well as the Sunbeams and Tigers. Firefighters have someone on first and second right now. Isaac Johnson batting for the Firefighters. One out. Let's see if maybe they can put some points on the board. There's a foul and then a ball. For the Sunbeams Tigers game, Velasquez Meadows just hit a ground out to Landry Violence. The Tigers are now batting against the Sunbeams. Isaac Johnson just hit a single and scored a point. Firefighters are on the board. Edric Tosser batting. Joshua Butt just got caught stealing third. Two outs for the Firefighters. One person on first, Edric Tosser batting. And one ball, one strike. And Edric Tosser hits a fly out to Moro Doyle. Let's take another quick skip through the league. Daniel Duffing Duffy batting for the Tigers, manages to reach first. Alyssa Harrell out at second base. 
Lovers and Stakes. Stakes have someone on first and second. August Mina batting. And Sam Scandal gets caught on th stealing third. Let's take another quick skip through. Breath Mints are still holding out against the Millennials. Breath Mints 2, Millennials 0. Spies 1, Moist Talkers 0 at the top of the third. Jazz Hands 2, Dolly 0, bottom of the second. Pies are keeping it flaky. Pies 1, Crab 0, top of the third. Magic is bringing their loaded deck today. Magic 1, Taco 0. Let's see what happens. Baldwin Breadwinner just hitting a fly out to Francis uh, Francisco Preston. Patel Beyonce batting for the Tacos. Wild Wings and Garages. Wild Wings still lagging behind the Garages. Garages 2, Wild Wings 1. And at the bottom of the second, Flowers are in bloom against the Fridays. Flowers 2, Friday 0. Tyga Quitter batting for the Tacos right now. They've got someone on first. Dale have somebody on first and third. Raul Leal is batting for the Dale. Now hits a three-run home run. Dale on the board and taking the lead from the Jazz Hands. Allison Abbott for the garage has just hit a single. They've got someone on first and second right now. They may be able to distance themselves a little further from the Wild Wings. Let's take another quick skip through the league. Shoe Thieves and Firefighters are still locked up, but there is someone on third. Lou Rosehart batting for Chicago. Ball two, two strikes. And Lou Rosehart breaks Chicago's heart, strikes out, looking two outs. Wesley Poole up next. And another quick skip through the league. Sunbeams and Tigers are still deadlocked. Double zero. Top of the third for Stakes and Lovers. Lovers are taking the lead. Lovers three, Stakes zero. Wesley Poole for the Chicago Firefighters just struck out. We're at the top of the third, and the Shoe Thieves are batting yet again. Further down the league, the Breath Mints are still on the... Uh, pardon me, folks. Breath Mints are still taking the lead here right now. 2-0 against the Millennials. Bottom of the second. Millennials are up to bat now. Sh ba bat now. Schneider Bendy is batting for the Millennials. And hits a fly out to Wit Steak Knife. Another quick look through the league. Spies right now still keeping the lead against the Moist Talker. Spies 1, Moist Talker 0, top of the third. Dale still holding the lead against the Jazz Hands. Dale 3, Jazz Hands 2. Pies still holding on to their lead. 1 versus Crabs 0. Magic has definitely come to the game prepared. They have their components and have memorized their somatic elements. They're 2 and 0 right now. Bevan. Sorry, I missed who would, what just happened over there. Inky Rutledge is now pitching for the Magic. Let's jump a little further down the league. Garages are still leading against the Wild Wings. Garages 3, Wild Wings 1, and the Fridays have shown up to the game finally and managed to put a point on the board. Flowers for Fridays 1. Let's jump back up to the top of the charts here. We have uh, quite a few number of fans cheering in the stands and in the chat. Solo and uh, Cello and Behold uh, shouting on Ren. I believe that's Ren Hunter for the Shoe Thieves. Uh, Josh Cortex Millard is a fan of the Thieves. We've got Princess Ruby shouting for the stakes to kind of pick it up here. We've got Cripple in the chat that's been talking about the ticker feed being sentient. We've got Rowan Wordsmith talking about that as well. And I think we're about caught up. Let's jump back to the games and see what's going on here. Shoe Thieves and Firefighters are still tied up. Paula Mason batting for the Shoe Thieves. Sunbeams and Tigers tied right now at the top of the fourth. Sunbeams batting against Hiroto, yeah, pardon me, Hiroto Wilcox. Oh, that just shifted suddenly. Eugenia Bickle pitching now. Landry Violence fan, favorite of the Tigers, now batting. And there is a ball. A quick another skip through the league. Lovers are still taking the lead against the stakes. Oh, Landry Violence just hit a single as and is on base. Another quick skip through the league. Lovers 3, Stakes 0. Breath Mints are still holding a lead against the Millennials 2-0. Elizabeth Guerrera batting. Draws a walk. Base is loaded for the Breath Mints. Only one out. Eduardo Ingram batting now. Spies still holding a lead against the Moist Talkers. Spies 2, Moist Talkers 0. Dale still winning against the Jazz Hands at the bottom of the third. Dale 3, Jazz Hands 2. Eduardo Ingram hits a single. Two points scored. Breathments leading against the Millennials right now. Breathments 4, Millennials 0. 
boyfriend, Monreal, from the Breath Mints batting now, fan favorite. There is a wonderful piece of fan art by Nancy, uh, it's... Dancy Nuru on Twitter of Boyfriend Monreal. There's even an animated GIF of it. It's fabulous. Uh, Boyfriend Monreal has three balls right now and reaches first on fielder's choice. Isabeth Guerra out at third. Let's keep skipping through the league. Right now, Flowers and Fridays. Flowers are still leading. Four. Flower, uh, Flowers four. Fridays one. Garages and Wild Wings have tied it up at the top of the third. Three and three. Magic still leading against the Tacos. Two, zero. Crabs have come back with a vengeance and started tearing into that pie. Crabs, two, Pies 1, Dale still holding on to their lead versus the Jazz Hands, Dale 3, Jazz Hands 2, Spies still leading against the Moist Talkers, Spies 2, Moist Talkers 0, Breath Mints are still 4 versus the Millennials 0, Richardson, oh, hang on one second, the Millennials have somebody on third base, Winnie McCall batting for the Millennials, no outs, Richardson Games scores on a sacrifice, Millennials on the board, Chorby Soul batting right now. And there's a strike. Let's take another quick skip through the league while we're waiting to see... Pardon me. What happens there? Lover still leading 3-0 against the Stakes, but the Stakes have somebody on first base. We'll see what happens there. Sunbeams have a point on the board, breaking the deadlock versus the Tigers. And the Shoe Thieves and Firefighters are still deadlocked 1-1. Chorby Soul has three outs, two strikes. Let's see what happens for Soul. Draws a walk. Chorby on first base. Let's see if the Millennials can capitalize on this. Dominic Marijuana batting for the Millennials. Another quick, quick look through the league. Caleb Novak batting for the Day Lab, uh, Dale right now. Dale have someone on first and third. Pies have someone on second base. Morrow Wilson batting right now. They're still lagging behind the Crabs. Crabs two, Pies one. Magic have put another point on the board. Magic three, Tacos zero. Someone on second base. And Bevan Wise batting right now. Wild Wings and Tacos are still tied. And the Fridays have put another point on the board. Flowers four, Fridays two. And the Moist Talkers have managed to tie it up with the Spies. Moist Talkers and Spies two and two. Top of the sixth. Conrad Vaughn just hit a ground out to Gray Alivardo, switching it up. Breath Mints are batting now. Another quick skip through the league. Stakes have got a point on the board and someone on first and third. Marco Stink batting now. Hits a ground out to Helga Burton, though. Canceling out that momentum. All right, sports fans. Games have been heating up today. Garages have someone on first and third. Two outs, and they're still tied with the Wild Wings near the bottom of the league. Let's keep an eye out here for just a moment. Bennett Browning batting for the Garages. There's ball. Strike. Quick skip through the Panopticon here. We've got some folks on bases for Tigers. Let's jump up there real quick. Yes, the Tigers have someone on first and second. Randy Castillo batting right now. One out against Eugenia Bickle for the Sunbeams. Two strikes, one ball, and Randy Castillo is struck out swinging. Fish Summers batting for the Tigers now. And hits a fly out. Sorry, Tigers fans, they're top of the sixth right now. Sunbeams are batting and leading with one run. Top of the fifth for the Shoe Thieves and Firefighters. They are still deadlocked one and one, but Moro Doyle for the Shoe Thieves just stole first base. Velasquez Alstott batting now. Let's see if they can capitalize on this. Hits the sacrifice fly. Moro Doyle tags and scores. Shoe Thieves two, Firefighters one. Let's take another quick jump through the league. Stakes are still flagging behind the Lovers. Stakes 1, Lovers 3. Breath Mints are still leading against the Millennials. Breath Mints 4, Millennials 2. Moist Talkers have managed to take the lead and break the tie from the Spies. Moist Talkers 3, Spies 2, bottom of the 6th. Top of the 6th, the Dale are still holding on to their lead against the Jazz Hands. Dale 4, Jazz Hands 2. Bottom of the 6th, Crabs 2, Pies 1. Top of the, uh, sorry, bottom of the 5th. Magic is absolutely dominating with Arcane Might here. Our, uh, the uh, Magic are now batting, but Magic are six tacos, zero. Bottom of the fifth, Wings and Garages are still locked up three and three, and the Flowers are still growing and winning. Flowers, four.
for Fridays 2. Thank you, Union Hawk, for the follow. Welcome to the game. I'm your radio host, radio host. This is day 98 of season 2 of the world's greatest sport, Blaseball. Let's jump back to the Shoe Thieves Firefighters games right now. Two outs, Workman Gloom batting, one ball, someone on first and third. Let's see if Gloom can make it happen. One strike. With Sunbeams Tigers games is also heating up. Up, Emmett Internet is batting right now with two strikes and someone on first and third. Workman Gloom strikes out for the Shoe Thieves, but they're still leading 3-1. And Emmett Internet hits a flyout to Patterson. I missed the first name. Hades Tigers batting. They might be able to turn this around. Maybe. Lovers are still winning against the Stakes in the bottom of the fifth. Lovers three, Stakes one, bottom of the fourth. Breathments four, Millennials two. Sorry, New York fans. It does not look like the Millennials are doing well. Let's jump down to the bottom of the league, league real quick. Fridays have managed to put another point on the board against the Flowers, but the Flowers are still in bloom and winning right now. A floral, fragrant scent of victory on the win on, on the wind. Flowers four, Fridays three, top of the sixth. Wild Wings and Garages still tied up three and three. Top of the sixth, the Magic are in the process of building an arcane system of runes across the field to obliterate the tacos from all space-time. Tacos are zero. Magic, nine. Bottom of the seventh, crabs have managed to take the lead and hold onto it with their pinchy little claws. Ta almost said tigers. Wrong animal entirely. Crabs, two. Pies, one. Top of the seventh, Dale still holding out against the Jazz Hands. Dale, four. Jazz Hands, two. Bottom of the seventh, Moist Talker still holding onto their lead against the Spies and their domestic espionage tactics. Moist Talkers, three. Spies, two. Breathmints are still leading at the top of the fourth against the Millennials. Millennials, two. And Boyfriend Monreal batting for the Breathmints with two outs. Stakes and Lovers. Lovers still leading three. Stakes one. Sunbeams and Tigers are still keeping it cool there. Sunbeams one. Tiger zero. Boyfriend Monreal hits a single for the Breath Mints. They're on first. Marquez Clark batting for the Mints now with two outs. And a quick jump back up to the top game of the league right now. Shoe Thieves and Firefighters. Shoe Thieves are still dominating and stealing everyone's kicks and Points, Shoe Thieves 3, Firefighters 1, Beasley Gloom pitching now for the Shoe Thieves. Joshua Butt batting for the Chicago Firefighters. Ball 1, ball 2. Quick look around the league. We need to jump down to the Magic game here real quick because bases are loaded for the Tacos. No outs. Rat Polk batting right now. Two strikes, one ball. Maybe the Tacos can score a point. Rat Polk. Reaches first on fielder's choice. Basillo Preston out at fourth. No score. Wanda, Wanda Pothos batting for the Tacos. Now let's see if they can capitalize on these bases loaded. Strike one, ball one. Strike two. Not looking great for Pothos. Ball two. And a foul. Ball three. Pothos might be taking a walk and getting the tacos their point that way. Reaches on Fielder's Choice. McDowell Sasquatch out at fourth. No point. Two outs. Bases loaded. Baldwin breadwinner. Let's see if they can live up to their surname and win the... Oh, nope, nope, nope. Ground out to Washer Baraja. Sorry, tacos fans. It's a absolute slaughter fest there. Let's take a quick jump through the league. Flowers are still holding on to a lead over the Fridays. Flowers six. Fridays four. Garages have managed to break the deadlock. Oh, and the Wild Wings just shifted it up. Ronan Combs... Scoring two runs, Wild Wings five, Garages four, Magic still dominating 9-0 right now. Crabs still holding on to their lead against the Pies, Crabs two, Pies one, Jazz Hands and Dolly, Dolly still leading, Dolly four, Jazz Hands two, Jazz Hands do have someone on first and second though, let's see if maybe that shakes things up. 
Moist Talker still leading against the Spies. Moist Talker's three, Spies two. Tot Fox just steals third for the Jazz Hands. Scores on a sacrifice. Jazz Hands three right now, still flagging behind the Dale with four. Alden Cash Money batting for the Jazz Hands with someone on first, two outs. Tomora in chat says they put a lot of coin on the stakes, and I can feel feel why i can see why you would be upset they're not doing great today sadly all the cash money hits a fly out let's keep skipping through the league we already mentioned that the moist talkers have managed to break the espionage tactics of the spies in our leading 3-2 top of the ninth that game's probably going to be wrapping up here very shortly bottom of the sixth the millennials are batting right now conrad vaughn just hit a ground out to rodriguez rodriguez internet thomas dracinia batting for the millennials now with two outs the millennials are still oh thomas dracinia Hits a single and is on base. Still two outs. Schneider, Bendy, batting for the Millennials. Breathman's four. Millennials two. Ball one for Bendy. And hits a ground out to Hewitt. Bass with steak knife. Batting for the Breathman's. A quick finish up of the top of the league stuff. We've got Lovers five. Stakes one. Sorry, Stakes fans. Tigers have managed to come out swinging and jump out of their cage. Tigers two. Sunbeams one. And Shoe Thieves are still holding on to their loot. Shoe Thieves three. Firefighters one. Quick jump through the league. Action's kind of building up here. Let's jump down to the Flowers and Fridays game at the bottom of the league right now. Elijah, Elijah Valenzuela batting now. Nagomi McDaniel scores. The Fridays are slowly inching closer to the Flowers right now. Flowers six. Fridays five. One out. One person on base. Sebastian Sunshine batting for the Fridays. Two strikes. And strikes out looking... York Silk batting for the Fridays. And hits a ground out. Wild Wings in garages. Wild Wings are still leading against the garages in the top of the eighth. Wild Wings five, garages four. Bottom of the seventh, Magic still just mystic domination here. Magic nine, tacos zero. Bottom of the ninth, Crabs and Pies have tied it up. Two and two. Top of the ninth, Jazz Hands and Dale tied it up as well. Four and four. We have a final score already, folks. Moist Talkers winning against the Spies. Three, two. Breathmints are still dominating against the Millennials. Breathmints five, Millennials two. Stakes and Lovers. Lovers are just eating up the stakes today. Lovers 5, Stakes 1. Tigers are still fierce right now. Tigers 2, Sunbeams 1, Top of the ninth, Top of the 8th. Firefighters are staging a comeback possibly. Firefighters and Shoe Thieves tied at 3. Shoe Thieves batting now with someone on first. Sebastian Townsend batting against Atlas Guerrera. Uh, Guerrera. Sorry, I'm going to get it right eventually. Two strikes for Townsend. Two balls. Let's see what happens. And another ball for Townsend. Sebastian Townsend draws a walk. Sunbeams and Tigers game just finished. The heavily favored Tigers have won the game against the Sunbeams. Tigers 2, Sunbeams 1. Congratulations to Hades fans. We still have one more game to go in the set, though. Workman Gloom batting for the Shoe Thieves right now. Someone on first and second one. Out Stu Trollolo caught stealing third. Ball three for Workman Gloom. And hits a single first and third loaded for the Shoe Thieves with two outs. Quick skip down a little further into the league. Winnie McCall just hit a single for the Millennials. First and second loaded for the Millennials right now. Chorby Soul batting. As me, Ramsey just hit a fly out for the Shoe Thieves. They could not capitalize on their bases there. Wesley Dudley just stole third. Chorby Soul reaches first on fielder's choice. Winnie McCall out on second. And we do have another point for the Millennials. Dominic Marijuana batting now. Two outs. Millennials are still behind. Two runs to the Breathmans. There's a strike for Dominic Marijuana and a ball. Let's see what happens next. Another strike. Lovers fan favorite fan, Knight Erlocker, batting right now. 
with one person on a base, maybe the Lovers will distance their lead even further. Dominic Marijuana hits a double and scores, is on second base right now. Millennials are one run behind McLaughlin Scorpler on the p plate right now. Let's see if the Millennials can tie it up. Two strikes so far for the Scorpler. And strikes out looking. Isabeth Guerrera batting next for the Breath Mints. Theo King hits the ground out. We've got someone on second and third for the Lovers. Helga Moreno batting now. Two outs. Chicago's Firefighters and the Charleston Shoe Thieves are still deadlocked. 3-3 at the bottom of the eighth. One ball, two strikes for Helga Moreno from the Lovers, and hits a fly out to August Mina. Pardon me, folks. Let's scroll down the league a little bit. Jazz Hands have managed to snatch victory away from the Dale right now at the bottom of the 10th. Jazz Hands 6, Dale 4. Bottom of the 10th for the Crabs and Pies as well. Deadlocked 2 and 2. We're in extra innings. And let's hope we don't go all the way to a 20th inning like a few days ago. Right now, the Yellowstone Magic are dominating against the Tacos. Magic 10, Tacos 0. Top of the 9th, Wild Wings and Garages are still a close game. Wild Wings 7, Garages 6, and top of the 9th for the Flowers and Fridays. Fridays have finally shown back up and punched back in. They are 7 right now, and they've just won the game. They were favored to win and turned it around. They were flagging behind much earlier. Friday 7, Flowers 6. Let's jump back up and see what's going on in the rest of the league. Stakes have someone on first and second. August Mina batting no outs. Let's see what happens here. There's a foul for August Mina. Millennials are batting right now in the top, uh, bottom of the eighth. Conrad Vaughn just hit a ground out to the uh, to Wit Steak Knife. Thomas Dracenia batting for the Millennials. Two strikes, one ball for August Mina on the stakes. Another ball for August Mina. Sam Scandal steals third, first and third loaded for August Mina. Let's see what happens. Sam Scandal scores on a sacrifice, stakes two, lovers five. Marco Stink batting for the stakes right now. Still got somebody on first with one out. Reaches on fielder's choice. Stevenson Monstera out at second. Two outs. Corey Ross batting for the stakes. Let's see if they can capitalize on this. And they hit a fly out to Theo King. Let's jump back up to the Shoe Thieves and Firefighters game. Baby Erlocker batting for Chicago. Someone on first and second. Three balls. Baby Erlocker reaches on fielder's choice. Edric Tosser out at third. Lou Rose Hart batting for Chicago. We do have a final score for the Lovers Stakes game. Lovers winning five to Stakes two. Lovers were favored to win. Uh, it looks like Rosehart managed to hit a single. Wesley Poole is up. Chicago is winning right now. There is a shame. Warning in effect for the Shoe Thieves right now. Chicago 5 to Shoe Thieves 3. Wesley Poole hit a sacrifice fly. Baby Erlocker scoring. Paula Mason batting for Chicago. Let's take another quick skip through the remaining games of the league. Wild Wings are winning now against the Garages. Wild Wings 8, Garages 6, but Garages have someone on base at the bottom of the ninth. They might be able to bring some more points. Bottom of the ninth for the Magic and Tacos. Tacos finally managed to get a point, but the Magic are still dominating 11-1. Bottom of the 11th. Crabs and Pies are still tied 2-2. Two and two. Top of the 9th. Right now, Breath Mints are still leading by one run. Wit Steak Knife batting with one person on first for the Breath Mints. Hey, Chicago wins it against the Shoe Thieves and triggers shame. It doesn't have an effect this season, but it might next season. Chicago winning 5-3 versus the Charleston Shoe Thieves. Let's take another quick jump through the remaining games in the league. Crabs and Pies have a shame in effect as well. Pies may be shaming the Crabs. Jessica Telephone batting right now. One person on base, two outs. Let's see if this legendary gun bat wielder can make it happen. Two strikes, two outs. Hits a ground out to Forrest Best. That's the game. Shame deployed upon the Crabs with a flaky victory for the Pies. We have a double shame game today, folks. Magic have locked it up against the Taco. 11-1, Wild Wings locking it up against the Garages, 8-6.
We've got one game remaining. Millennials batting right now. Bottom of the ninth. Flagging behind one point behind the Breath Mint. Richardson games batting now for the Millennials. There's a strike. Looking. Ball one. Strike looking. And Richardson Games hits a fly out to Witt Steak Knife. Winnie McCall batting for the Millennials. One out there, one run behind. If they can tie. Oh, and a ground out to Gray Olivardo. Chorby Soul, two outs right now. Chorby, let's see what you can do. Ball one from Winnie Hess pitching to Chorby. Strike one. And Chorby Soul hits the ground out to Marquez Clark. That's the game. That's game two of the three-game set. Day 98 of season two of the world's greatest sport, baseball. We're 29 minutes and change away from game three, the final game of season two. Let's take a brief moment to run through all of the scores of game two. Before we do a brief introduction to how to baseball for some of our new listeners out there, thank you all for watching. Let's take a run through the league. Shoe Thieves, Firefighters, Shoe Thieves managed to be... Uh, pardon me, let's start from the top there. I kind of lost my placing. <clears throat> Shoe Thieves hosting Firefighters. Firefighters shaming the Shoe Thieves. Firefighters 5, Shoe Thieves 3. Sunbeams hosting the Tigers, heavily favored Tigers winning it 2-1. The favored Lovers beat the Stakes, Lovers 5, Stakes 2. Breathmints hosting the Millennials, Breathmints winning 5-4. Spies hosting the Moist Talkers. Moist Talkers were favored and pulled it through. Moist Talkers 3, Spies 2. Jazz Hands hosted the Dale, and for a while the Dale were definitely holding their own, but the Jazz Hands were favored and did bring it home. Jazz Hands 6, Dale 4. We went into 11 innings with the Crabs and Pies, and the Crabs were shamed by the Pies. Pies 3, Crabs 2. If enhanced shame were in effect, the Crabs next game, the team that they face against would start with a one-run lead. Let's continue down the league. The Magic unleashed Arcane Fury bringing 11 points to the board to the Tacos 1. Wild Wings versus Garages. Wild Wings 8, Garages 6. And at the bottom of the league, but last but not least, Fridays managed to eke out a victory against the Flowers after being behind for most of the game. Friday 7, Flower 6. This has been game day 98, season 2 of Baseball. I'm your radio host, radio host, and I'm going to take a brief moment here to have some water, and then we'll go over the ins and outs of betting and everything in baseball. I'm going to jump over to our board for the next upcoming games and see the timer. I'll be back in just one moment. All right, sports fans, I'm back hydrated, and let's take a quick run through about baseball. We have 20 wonderful teams in our league. When you create an account, you can choose a team to be your favorite. You are a granted an a, a quantity of coins from the baseball gods and can place bets upon teams. When your teams win, you get coins back. If you don't, you don't. Coins can continue to be spent 
on betting on your favorite teams or the ones that have the best odds, but they can also be used in the shop to procure things to allow you to bet higher, to change your team if you're a fair weather fan, or to buy votes that can affect the next season. Seasons run from Monday to Friday in human temporal structures. 99 games are run over the course of this time, and then the rest of the time between seasons is the off-season. Votes are used... Oh, we have a little bit of a loading screen here. Let's refresh and see if we can jump back in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! 500 internal server error. We might have... No, oh, no, no, wait. It just might be my connection. Let's not panic, folks. Whoops. Inadvertent bias popping up on the screen. Let's get rid of that real quick. No, oh, it didn't show up. Neat. The little toast pops up of your passive income. Don't show up on stream. Anyway, we've got 45 hours, 25 minutes, and exactly 24.59 seconds now uh, to place votes. There are five decrees available. There are 12 blessings. Blessings will automatically be applied to your team. Decrees will affect teams based on their standings. Take a moment, peruse them. Let's jump back to the shop for one more moment to highlight something very important. The folks at Boyceball, who I am not affiliated with, I'm just your radio host, radio host, I am unofficial, I am not being paid anything to do this, I am just a fan like the rest of you out there. However, the folks at the Boyceball Commission do need to convert cash into keeping the server from bursting into flames and exploding, so they do need dollars. They have a sponsor, Yes Please Coffee, there's a button there that you can click to get a discount. Further down the list, though, if you run out of coins from gambling or buying votes or what happens, if you do not worry, there are no macro transactions, no micro transactions, and no pico transactions. You can just beg the baseball gods for more coins, and the baseball gods, in their infinite beneficence, will grant them unto you to continue gambling to your heart's content. It's all in good fun here at baseball. Now then, let's scroll back up real quick. There is the Forbidden Book, but we will not click on it. And while we're between games, let's check how much time we have. The ticker just reminded me that we do have an in-memoriam card that will pop up on the screen. Let's take a moment to acknowledge the players that have been incinerated by rogue umpires. Gail in chat asks about nanotransactions, and I don't have an electron economist scope. I can't see that small, but I would suspect we're probably in the clear. Let's take a moment to remember the baseball players that have been incinerated. Jalen, Hot Dog Fingers, Fitzgerald, Macy, Tyreek, Olive, Jenna, Maldonado, Nora Perez, Scrap Murphy, Lars Mendoza, Dickerson Greatness, Famous O'Connor, Sosa Elf Tower, Z De La Cruz, Trevino Merritt, Jesse Wise, Hurley Pacheco, Alexandria Dresenia, Alden Anthony, and Cedric Gonzalez. Thank you all from the bottom of our multitudinous hearts that we've acquired. We will miss you and we thank you for your service in baseball. Honkin' Stonkin' Streamin', thank you for the follow, and I also want to pop a credits card up briefly. Some of the sound effects you may hear during the stream were acquired through Zapsplat.com. Thank you for that. We do have to attribute, because taking my radio host hat off for a moment, proper attribution and credit to the people that produce things is important. They should be given properly. That's what I want to do here. There are links also in my description to make sure that we're covering all of our baseball bases to make sure that we're crediting people appropriately. Title cards were also built using Canva. All right, with that out of the way, let's jump back to upcoming games. We still have about 20 minutes left until the final game of Season 2 of the world's greatest sport, baseball. Thank you all for listening. I'm going to take a brief moment to take a brief break and have some coffee. Coffee, it's great stuff, but it's not baseball. 
I'll be back briefly. We've still got about 21 minutes left till the last game, and this will also be the last game of our human broadcast day. Also, before I scamper off, let's take a quick moment to address scheduling. So I will not be covering the off-season. My mortal vocal cords do need to rest periodically. The plan as it stands right now is to stream games three mortal days a week during the afternoon slash evening. However, mortal job obligations may shift things around. Keep an eye on at Blaseball underscore radio on Twitter for updates about our streaming times. If you're on Twitter and have a moment, go ahead and throw a line to the commissioner and tell them they're doing a great job. And if you are financially sound and able to do so, consider kicking in a donation to their Patreon. I am not sponsored by them. I am not paid by them. I am not getting anything out of that. But these Blazeball servers are blistering hot, it seems, and they could use the help. If you can afford it, don't feel obligated if you can't. Everyone is understanding that things are a little tight right now for everybody, and that's okay. Don't feel guilty. I'm going to go take a brief break. We still got just under 20 minutes left till the next day. Thank you all so much for your kind words and chat. And thanks for tuning in to Blaseball Radio. Hello, sports fans. We still have just about 17 minutes left until the next day's games, the final day of of Season 2 of Baseball here in the Discipline Era. I'm your radio host, Radio Host. Thank you for joining us here at Baseball Radio. I'm going to fire out another tweet so any stragglers can make it to the last game of the season. Before I jump around to do that, I do want to take a moment and spend another half point of bias, and I'll have only a half point the next time I broadcast, to shout out my near and dear friend, Draco Kitty's birthday. Happy birthday to you, my dear friend. Many happy returns. I'll be back in just a second. All right, sports fans. With our promotion out of the way, we're here with 15 minutes to spare. A little bit of chatter in the chat right now. I appreciate all of the kind words that you have for me, your radio host, radio host. And I do want to emphasize that the commissioner is doing a great job. The periodic intermittent outages that we have on baseball is because so many people are so excited about this wonderful game that we're all checking out. And they're doing a great job holding it together. Thank you, Orb Time, and thank you, Evjank, for following. Welcome to the show. We've got just under 15 minutes remaining. Let's take a brief moment and talk about the games to come. This is going to be Game 3, the end of the season, also the end of our human broadcast day. Let's scroll through the teams and talk about pitchers. Let's start at the bottom of the league, Stakes Versus Lovers, Stakes will have Ronan Jaley pitching, and Lovers will have Percival Wheeler. Let's take a quick look at Ronan's stats here. Uh oh, minor hiccup. Let's try loading that again. Ronan Jaley has one star. Lovers, Percival Wheeler is a star and a half. Flowers will have King Weatherman pitching, and Karato Bean will be pitching for Fridays. King Weatherman is ranked at two and a half stars. Friday's Corrado Bean is ranked at one and a half. Wild Wings will have Burke Gonzalez pitching, and Burke Gonzalez is ranked at two and a half stars. Garages will have Ron Monstera ranked at one and a half. Spies will have Jordan Hildebert pitching, and Hildebert is rated at two and a half stars. Moist Talkers have Ortiz Morse. Ortiz Morse is only a half star. Crabs will have Alda Adalberto Tosser pitching, and they're ranked at two and a half stars. Pies have Bright Zimmerman. 
And Bright Zimmerman is ranked. Oh, we need to reload here real quick. Uh-oh. Not loading. Let's try that. There we go. Nothing to panic about. Bright Zimmerman, one and a half stars. I will say, every time I see the name King Weatherman, it makes me think of some sort of extra challenge boss in the Mega Man game series. Let's scroll back up through the league we just covered. Bright Zimmerman, the man ending of the names, made me think of that. All right. Sunbeams will have Lars Taylor pitching. Lars is no stars. Lars, let's see what'll happen there with the Tigers. Dunlap Figaro pitching for the Tigers, and Dunlap has three stars. Magic will be having Curry Alicia Keys pitching, and Curry Alicia Keys is two and a half stars. Tacos has Alejandro Leaf. Alejandro Leaf is one and a half stars. Jazz Hands has Walton Sports. That's a very weird way to spell sports, but Walton Sports will be pitching two and a half stars. Dale has Quace Dog Walker. Dale... Quace Dog Walker stats are pretty strong there. Three and a half stars. Alex Trololo will be pitching for the Breath Mints, and Trololo is rocking two stars. Millennials will have Bates Bentley. Bates Bentley is also two stars. This could be an interesting slugfest there. Shoe Thieves will have Cornelius Games. Cornelius Games is three and a half stars, and Firefighters will have Swamwell Mora pitching. Swamwell is only ranked at one star. We're 11 minutes out. Let's sports ball. Chester Knapp asks in chat, why are our timers different? Mine says 29. Uh, try refreshing. I'm not sure. My timers are running a little bit slow because of lag time that through the stream. Rowan Wordsmith says the outages are because the computers need to become stronger. Yes, they do. Do Renthusiast shouts out to fellow sports fans and Josh Cortex Miller Miller. Uh, I'll get this right, I promise. Josh Cortex Millard is calling out Cornelius Schustelius. Just a bit more than ten minutes before we start the final game of Season 2 of Blaseball. Honk and Stonk and Streamin' says the machines must become larger. Yes, embiggen the machines. If you wish to help Blaseball do that, and I would like to preface that I am not affiliated with the Blaseball Commission in any way, shape, or form. I'm receiving no monetary compensation from them, not a single cent. And that's okay, I'm just a fan like all the rest of you. If you have the time and the monetary means to do so, please consider kicking into the Patreon for Blaseball so they can convert that cash into somehow keeping the servers from exploding. I don't know how that works. I'm not an economist. I'm a radio host. While you have a moment, hop onto Twitter, tell the commissioner they're doing a great job, and also take a moment to follow some of your favorite teams on Twitter. There's great microfiction coming out from all of these different disparate teams. You can also follow us at Blaseball underscore radio. I will be retweeting as much of the stuff that I can find. And to take my radio announcer hat off for just a moment, thank you all so very much for being here and listening to this fun, hysterical, goofy stuff that we're all doing here. It's been a great time doing all of these broadcasts, and it's, it's just a whole lot of fun. So thank you all so very much. I do want to say that we are keeping the stream PG. We want to keep people keeping it friendly in chat Everyone's been great about that so far, and I really, really genuinely appreciate it. The baseball community has been just stellar so far. There's been so many great pieces of fan art out there. Y'all are just killing it, and I really appreciate y'all out there, and I'm glad that I can give back to the community by doing this wonderful, funny, goofy thing. All right. Uh, the incinerations aren't graphic new first, so I'm going to say yes. We're not going to get gross about it. I'm going to pop my radio announcer's hat back on and say welcome to 
all of our baseball fans out there of all shapes, sizes, colors, and chemical compositions. Welcome to Baseball Radio. I'm your radio host, radio host. We're just shy of eight minutes away from game 99 of season two, The Discipline Era, here at Baseball. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are all just on the edge of our seat to see what's going to happen, not only at the end of the season, but also to see what happens at the beginning of next season when all of the votes will be triggered and put into place for both blessings and decrees. It should be very interesting. Thank you all so kindly in chat for the kind words. Let's take a moment and cover how baseball works with the remaining seven minutes that we have before the game starts. When you create an account at baseball.com, you can pick your favorite team. It doesn't matter which one you want to pick unless your home state's there or hometown's there and you feel bad not picking them. I'll cover what can happen after that afterwards. But once you've picked a team, you are granted a small sum of coins from the baseball gods. They are beneficent. They are kind. They let us perceive this glorious, strange sport. Coins can be used to spend on betting for all of these various teams throughout the league. Bet on your favorites or bet on the ones that have the best odds to win. It's entirely up to you. Coins can continue to be spent on bets, but you can also click on this shop button and spend your coins on accessing the shop, voting rights, buying votes, and other handy things in here. I want to take a brief moment to say I'm not sponsored by Blazeball in any way, shape, or form, but they do have a sponsor. Consider clicking on their sponsor link to help them keep the servers from exploding. Votes we'll cover in a moment. High Roller Snake Oil lets you bet, raise the stakes on your bets and bet even more. Passive Income Potion gets you more coins when your favorite team wins. And Fairweather Flute is for you Fairweather fans that want to change sides. However, if you made a mistake during early character cre- er, account creation, it's fine. You can just create a new, new account or you could buy a Fairweather Flute. It's up to you. Now, a quick aside, if you run out of coins, there are no microtransactions, there are no macrotransactions, there are no pico transactions. Someone earlier asked about nanotransactions, and I do not have an electron economoscope. I can't see that small, but I think we're probably in the clear. The baseball gods are beneficent and kind. They will grant you more coins to continue using to your heart's content. Now, let's talk a brief bit about voting. We have 45 hours, 5 minutes, and a few seconds remaining. Votes can be bought and used to vote on decrees, which will affect things based on standings, and then blessings, which are targeted specifically to the team that you selected as your favorite. Based on how these votes shake out, different things will be assigned to different teams. We have a few minutes still, so let's talk real quick. Relegation will eliminate the last place team in the uh, league and replace them. Popular evolution will cause the most fans team will... uh, team with the most fans to evolve. We don't know what that means yet, but the commission does. Peanuts have a very succinct description. Peanuts. The fourth strike will give a fourth strike to all of the bottom four teams in the league for the rest of the season and the postseason and enhanced shame will change how shame functions in the game. Teams that have been shamed will be punished in their following game. Their next opponent will start with runs equal to the number of runs scored in the shame period. All of the blessings are disposed more or less direct stat modifications. A couple of them shuffle things around or help you break tiebreakers. Take a look at those if you have votes to spare. Avert your gaze. Loyal baseball fans, I'm about to click on the Forbidden Book, which was opened at the end of the last season. These are the rules of baseball. They are definitive. They are devastating. They are highly redacted. We're going to jump back to the league so we don't burn out our retinas. We have three minutes, 33 seconds remaining until the next day's games. Let's take a moment and cover the previous games for set, uh, game set two of three for the final games. Also, a quick look at our chat. People are talking about the Eclipse. Yes, the Eclipse will last the rest of the season. I don't know what's going to happen next season. I know Sibber is out there doing research and 
finding out information about the game. Now, I do want to say for those in chat, not everyone is cool with spoilers, so let's keep it spoiler free. I respect Cibber out there doing their thing and having fun. That's cool too, but I'm not going to be talking about spoilers during games. All right. Uh, we have a couple of new followers here that we want to shout out very briefly. Let me make it a little vis more visible for me to call them out. Laceagate, New Fur, Slamilton. I'm going to butcher this one. Nate Nom. I hope I got that right. And this is another one that I'm probably going to get wrong. Hey, of Rahir's. Sorry, I'm sorry I butchered that one, but thank you still for following Gail and Matcha. Thank you all so kindly for your follows. Thank you for tuning in to Baseball Radio. I'm your radio host, radio host. Uh, let's pop the upcoming games list. Oh, actually, no. We wanted to do something else real quick. MX Sanguine, thank you for the following. 